Peace, 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 peace. What it do, y'all? It's your brother, man, from the motherland coming to you guys live from the NY. Back with another one of that Repent of Die podcast. For those that don't know, I am Jones, the original. By blood, not by converse. You know I'm out here to splurge, splurge with the what? With the word. I want to give all praise and glory to the Father, for he is worthy to be praised. I want to give a shout out to all those that have been tuning in, supporting everybody from all across the world. Um, I got a chance to get in contact and build rapport with people all across the world, man. Shout out to all about, you know, shout out to everybody, excuse me. And it all wouldn't be done. And where I'm at right now, for for you guys, you know, of course, because of the Father and doing His will, and just being a light for my people moving in darkness. So, round of applause for that. Yeah, 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 man. We're gonna have a good one today. Um, for those that don't know, man, you know, I had a, a, a very powerful lesson um, earlier today for the Semba conversation, something that I feel all people should be tuning in. Um, there's a lot of there's there's a lot of misconceptions going around, passing around, going through our people um, coming from these uh, Europeanized churches that got black faces that's, you know, teaching our people and feeding our people foolish lies and complete, you know, foolery, if that makes any sense. And, um, yeah, man, you know, the title for that, you know, the children of Jacob is up next, man. We up next, right? Still a lot of work for us to do, but we up next, man. You know what I'm saying? But before I even get to today's uh, broadcast, I definitely got to give you guys the hood weather um, it's still kind of shady outside, still groomy, you know what I'm saying? Dudes are still walking around hurting, killing, destroying. Ain't no sunshine where we from. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't none of that. Right? And um I wanna I wanna say rest in peace to uh I forgot the brother's name, but he was the black man and John Wick, the Chief police and the in the TV show The Wire, um, he passed away yesterday, I believe, at the age of sixty. Um, very good man, and um, you know, listen, um, you know, when you sell your soul to the devil, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, you just don't get you just don't get the chance to reap the benefits or receive the labor of your hard work because you know in 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 order for you to reach a level of success you gotta sell something and when you sell something man you know nine out of ten times is going against the father right but that's neither here nor there um again my condolences go to him and the children you know is is it always sucks when children got to be raised without a parent around. I know how that felt. Um, it wasn't a good feeling, and um, yeah, you know. Hopefully things go through, you know. And um, on today's lesson, man, today's episode, we're gonna talk about the massive detoxification black people need. Black people need a massive detoxification. We need to detox. What do we need to detox from? We need to detox mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, dietary. All of these things need to be uh, uh, detoxed. And let's let's start off with every the things that everybody knows that we should be detoxing from. Let's start with the dietary. I don't think our people know the seriousness of the food that you intake and how much damage it could do to you long term. Especially when you are eating the foods that was forbidden by God for you to consume, right? 
when you do your studies eating stuff like crab shrimp lobster puts parasites inside your body because these animals are bottom feeders they was never designed to be consumed by human beings especially black folks see when you was a slave the slave master purposely made you eat that and because we had no choice the father winked and he allowed certain things to happen but now that we fast forward to today we are still keeping these traditions with us we're still keeping the slave tradition this is why we need a detoxification right those type of foods isn't good for you okay a lot of people don't know the long-term effects especially young people you know those that's under 40 you like man i've been eating this nothing happened to me whatever whatever but when you start hitting that 42 43 44 and you start seeing your body shutting down when you start seeing that your bones is getting weak you start noticing a lot of people is getting fractured bones acls all of these things are coming because of the food that you are feeding your body are food that you're not supposed to intake these are facts you can look these things up right not to mention the excessive amount of meat that we intake including myself let me not sit here and act like i'm mr perfect i tell you guys this all the time this journey these messages that I'm giving to you are messages that I first see it and apply it to myself and then spread it to the world. We all need corrections. No man is perfect. No man is better than the other. We are all dealing with some level of trials and tribulation, but it takes a village to fix the problem. It takes black people, same ethnics, same genetics, same... Uh, uh, um, poverty same same location same everything to help fix our situation we cannot go to the people that put us in these circumstances to help fix the problem because all they're going to do is put a band-aid on it give you some medications and before you know it you'll be right back on their desk or right back in the streets or end up in jail or, or worse even getting killed or dying if that makes sense right so we need a detoxification from the food that we intake okay we need to do more studies we need to we need to have more intake of fruits and vegetables shout out to those that's in the islands see though people in the islands they knew they knew how to break their fast when you went to sleep when you're sleeping your body's in a fast that's why when you wake up and you eat something it's called breakfast you're breaking the fast and when you break it what you're putting into your body determines how how uh, um, strong your immune system is gonna be your long-term longevity that you will be on this earth depends on what you consume with food so if you wake up and you get dressed you do whatever whatever and you go out and get yourself a bacon eggs and cheese your your lifespan will drop dramatically especially if that becomes a routine i know people that has a set routine they wake up brush their teeth they got to have their coffee. They got to have their bread and toast. Some people got to have the bacon, eggs, and cheese. They take that and they go through their morning. And they do this three, four, five, six, seven years. And by the time they reach into their mid-40s, going into their 50s, they're going to have mad health issues. You understand? Yes. You have to be mindful of the food that you consume got a detox from that massive detox and a lot of times the reason why we're suffering you notice there's a high rise of cancer within the colored community you know why because we have taken the eating habits and cultures of the oppressors of these europeans no disrespect to these individuals but i remember being young and the only thing i knew black people was to ever die from was high blood pressure heart attack 
add maybe a level of diabetes. But after that, the majority of the time is they die from natural causes from old age. You know what I'm saying? Grandmothers was actually grandmothers, people. Grandmothers was actually living to see 92, 93, 94. You know what I'm saying? Like actually living to see those numbers. Now, grandparents are passing on 69, 72, 73, 74. Literally get only a 10 year, 10 year reward for all the hard work that they put in working from whatever age till they retired at 65 come on now and some people don't even want to retire they have to go to work because they are fearful that if they stay home they're going to die they got it in their mind that they have to work right detoxification from that massive what's the next one the next one is what physical physically we need to detox we need to detox because physically we we were being taught to hate each other physically we need to separate ourselves from these people these outsiders it doesn't matter what race are they from if you're not black if you ain't come off these ships you need to take a seat over there like beyonce said to the left to the left <laughs> mm. and this is no disrespect listen even the europeans would agree with what i'm saying we need to be separate we need to be separate we was never meant to intermingle you will never find a lion with a tiger, a cheetah with a bear. You will never find that. Why are we doing that? You will never find a rose sleeping or laying next to a lily flower. It will never happen. It doesn't happen. Why are we doing this? You will never see a gorilla dating a monkey. Why are we doing this? physically we need a level of separation why i say this because when you are together with a person that is already viewed already got all the benefits that override you you're then going to desire and want to do things to also receive that benefit that also comes with how can i say this demoralizing yourself lessening who you are as an individual so this is why you see a lot of colored people act talk walk and and feel like they were genetically modified european yeah we don't oh we don't uphold our black roots i don't call it culture i don't i'm not subscribed to the culture because this culture of this world of this western world is wicked and evil and i don't want no parts of that i am a god-fearing man i love my people this culture promotes violence this culture promotes um sexualizations of women prostitution this is what this culture prom um, promotes and i don't want no parts of that I'd rather see my sisters as queens. I'd rather see these young boys as young prince growing up to be something, the rulers, the heirs of this throne that was already ordained for us. Massive detox. Yes, massive detox. Physically, we need to be detoxified. We need to step away, you know, keep the focus in house. Stop trying to uh, please and be accepted by, by, behind people that would never accept you. You would never be accepted. And you just got to take it for how it is. Just because they give you, just because they give you one of their women or they give you one of their mans doesn't mean that you are included. Okay. And I don't want to get in depth, but just know that all of these things come with a an agenda. There's an agenda when they are allowing you into their space. Okay? 
never think that it's done from the greatness and the kindness and the loving of their hearts and their souls because these individuals don't have that history shows that the comments that i see on on bitchu and on social media the comments that are, are are given lets you know that these people does not have a soul and heart and love in their hearts deep down inside they have a high hatred for you so yes physically we need a deep the de, um we need to detoxify physically i gotta stay away from that Physically, you got to detoxify yourself from everything, from the music, from the television, from friends. Detoxify. This is the only way we're going to get to the next level. We first got to get rid of everything that's holding us back. You have to detoxify. Next thing, of course, is mentally. Mentally, we have to detoxify. Like I said, we got to get this want to be a genetically modified European out of our minds. Got to get this European hard drive out of our minds, out of our heads. We have to. That's the only way we're going to move forward. We have to. We have to stop seeking their literature and their history and start seeking yours. You guys got $1,000 phones. You guys got $2,000 laptops, computers. What are you doing with it? Go seek understanding. You guys want to take trips to go to, 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 to go to European lands, to go to the Gentile territory. Why, why are you not going back to the place where they took you from so you can get some closure, so you can bring back some information, so you can give us some feedback? Like I tell you guys before, we have given up the blueprint for the blue face. The blueprint was always, it has always been and will always remain. Time for us. Or should I say, let my people go? We know we got to go back home. We came off the ship with a blueprint. Nat Turner held the blueprint. Khalid Mohammed had the blueprint. Everybody that had the blueprint was taken out. And now they have created the blue face and we desire that over the, over the blueprint. When the blueprint is literally the only thing that we need to survive. Money ain't going to give you this look. The money about to collapse. Come on now. Mentally, we got to detoxify. We got to get, take away all this European literature. I don't want to know nothing about nothing European. No disrespect. Don't feed me no Christopher Columbus. Don't give me no Anne Frank. Don't give me none of this. I don't care. And I don't care. I don't want to sound mean, but I don't care. Take that away from me, please. My daughter should not be on on suppose on supposedly on uh, 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 Black History Month. Why is my daughter learning about William Shakespeare? Why isn't she being taught Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey? I don't give a damn about no William Shakespeare. I don't give a damn about no Albert Einstein. I don't give a damn about Bill Clinton. I don't give a damn about Joe Biden. I don't give a damn about Donald Trump. I don't give a damn about none of that. Because none of that is beneficial for me as a black man, for my community, for my children. It's not beneficial. I don't need to know about it. I don't care. It's not gonna. It's not gonna change my everyday life. I'm not looking to be on Jeopardy. I'm not looking to be on Wheels of Fortune. I'm not looking to be with Steve Harvey, Family Feud. I'm not. We, we, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't give a damn for all of that. It's not important to me. It's not important to us. You know why children are disengaged in school curriculums now? Because of the foolish nonsense that you're feeding them. Who wants to know what black person wants to actually sit eight hours out of their lives to learn about Europeans? Like, like come on now. Like, it, you got to be really, really strong-minded. 
and have a purpose like nah i, I want to do something for you to go on with that outside of that nobody want nobody cares for that nobody cares i don't give a damn about hitler i don't care about the holocaust i don't care about the great depression i don't anything that's dealing with these individuals i don't care I'd rather talk about the things that they have done to my people. Those are the things that I care for because those conversations is going to give me and or should I say keep me uh, remembering and having to know that you guys are the enemy to me. You don't you're not for my best interest. So, of course, your education, y'all could keep that mentally. We got to depart from that, man. We got to stop viewing their ways as the, 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 the end all be all. We are the soul of the earth. I'd rather listen and learn from my sisters and brothers before I sit down and want to listen to a European an outsider. No disrespect. No disrespect. But again, I know that Europeans feel the same way. We are on the same page. You know, those that's with the Confederate flags, those that's screaming white power. We are on the same page. I'm on the same page with you, fam. You was absolutely right. You niggers need to go back home. You was absolutely right. Get out the way, though. Let us go back into our land. Sure, you absolutely right. Get out the way, though. Take your peoples. Go, go, go protect, serve and protect your community. Guess what? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And and listen, I'm I'm about to I'm about to have another I'm about to have another episode. Shout out to Bo man. We, we spoke about um about being a civilian and 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 you know it, the the okays of telling when you were civilian. You know what I'm saying? We gonna talk about that. We gonna talk about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to give you too much, but just know it's gonna get shaky. You feel me? And yeah. We got to detoxify from that massive worldwide detoxification. Every black person on the face of this earth need to detoxify. Yes. Because some way, shape or form, there's a there's a European stronghold upon us. And until we separate ourselves from that, we're going to forever remain at the level that we are in. And that's the bottom. We're going to be at the bottom of the map. And they know that. This is facts, people. What's the next one? Spiritually. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, listen. You got to get out of these European places, man. This is a fact. You have got to get out of these European places, man. You see this? You got to read this book and understand it in the eyelids of a black man. If you see it in a way of the Europeans, you're going to be lost. You're going to be in the same position that you're in right now. Massive detoxification. Spiritual detoxify. I don't want to know nothing about no other nationality other than black people. If it's not black, I don't want it. And with this massive detoxification, we're gonna be able to see the coconuts. There's a lot of coconuts in the black community because these are the people that refuse to detoxify, that believes in the inclusion, that wanna be accepted and honored and loved and wanna date and have babies and relationships with these outsiders. These are the coconuts. I'm more scared of them than I am a cop. See, I know what a cop is capable of. I know a cop could pull me over and th this this pullover can go left. I know that. I got to move with caution when I see police. We know that. But when you see a brother that looks like you, dressed like you, pants sagging, but has no pro and, but his an agenda in his heart, in his mind, he believes that He's a genetically modified European. You got to run from that. You got to run for it, run for it, run. And you don't even know who they are. These people can be family members, y'all. These people can be girlfriends. These people can be parents. 
Yeah. Is that bad? Facts. Is that bad, y'all? Yeah. Massive detoxify. Get these, get these, get these churches away from our community. Move it. Take it all down. All down. All the paganism, all the holidays, all of these things must be removed from us. This is the only way we're going to get to the next level. You know why the Black Wall Street was so prominent? Because they detoxified. They didn't, they didn't subscribe to anything European. They said, man, we black and beautiful. We proud and we going to hold it down. This is what we was doing. Facts. And they over here running around dropping bombs. When you know you're doing something good when these heathens drop a bomb on you. You know you're doing something good when they want to run into your community and, and vandalize it. You know you're doing something good. You know you doing something good when you when you go in these YouTube channels and you being censored. You being hit with a strike. You know you doing something good when people is not tuning in. <laughs> when they try to keep you as far out the algorithm as possible. You know you doing something good. Come on now. Because you're standing on that blueprint. You're believing in that detoxification. A worldwide detoxification that black people need. You need to cleanse yourself. You need to cleanse your mind. We're quick to, oh, and also with these religious teachings. You know what I'm saying? These religious teachings telling you, you need to go jump into the water so you can be cleansed. You can't jump in the water, be cleansed, but yet still got the mentality of the same people that killed the person that you're mocking to cleanse, to cleanse like. Come on now. Come on now. I can't, I can't make this stuff up. I can't make it up. Massive detoxification. Oh, I don't want no drama. Heathens are the ones that bring this beef to me. Sitting on the Satan sea. <laughs> to contaminate the weed. Trying to bother me. <laughs> Facts. Massive detoxification. We got to detox from the drinking, the smoking. We got to detox. Uh, we need to detoxify ourselves from the women that we dealing with. All of that comes with a level of detoxification. We have to do this. And the, and the first people that need to do it is the men. Because it's the men that's supposed to be out in the battlefield. I don't understand how females is holding it down better than men. You know why? Because a lot of you guys need to detoxify from your emotions. You're too emotional. The man them moving like woman them. You're moving like a girl. Need to, need to detoxify. Need to detoxify. We need to detoxify from the music. We need to detoxify from the TV. We even need to detoxify from YouTube, detoxify from these cell phones. We need to detoxify. You even need to detoxify from the Bible. Some of you guys been in this book so much, you can't even see one plus one equal two and two plus two equals four. Massive detoxification. Dudes need to go cold turkey, fast, pray. All of that needs to happen. And some detoxifications need to last longer than others. Some detoxifications might need two years. Others might need six months. Heck, some might need five to ten years. That's how damaged we are as a nation. We are that damaged. We are that damaged. Yes, I said it. That we need a long-term detoxification. That's the only way we're going to get things back. To, to stable grounds where we can look up and say, yes, I see the, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Only way, only way. If you don't, if you don't believe, then tell me what are we doing? What are we doing now that can 
that you can tell me that we don't need a level of detoxification. We still at the bottom. We losing more children every day to gun violence, to prison complex every single day. Um, we we have we have reached, we have become the number one race when it comes to all diseases, all um, deaths and diseases here in America. We are number one in it all. That includes diabetes, cancer, arthritis, fibroids, anything you can imagine that is damaging to a body we are number one everything so please tell me what should we do if the if we don't need to detoxify then what are we doing or what should we be doing that can get us into the proper state yes i can blame the factory too the factory that's another topic in the discussion that we definitely gonna have i really wasn't gonna talk about the factory but i'm gonna save that for a letter note because i definitely i gotta sit down and write these things down as far as what i'm gonna bring forth when it's pertaining to this factory i'll tell you one thing the factory is what's creating us giving us these genetically modified humans this genetically modified mentality this genetically modified european syndrome all of this comes from the factory oh yeah so please somebody needs to tell me if the detoxification is not what we need then what is it can be education education or uh, the the school system right now in 2023 matrix year is in a is on a full-fledged attack upon children i'm watching things on social media where we see in transformers octomist prime walking around strip dancing in front of children twerking ass shaking and all in front of children no more than 10 years old facts so what can we do we need a worldwide detoxification facts we need a worldwide detoxification i gotta detox from this madness you gotta detox from this madness because it's destroying us we are being destroyed we got men we got men running around want to be females and females running around want to be mind them and we are embracing them because it's part of our culture now I, I i don't subscribe to culture i advise everybody to never never subscribe themselves to no culture anytime you hear the word culture just know that these heathens got their hands in it this is why they got their hands in it now this is why someone like Vlad TV can give his opinion on a culture. Right? You can't, you can't, you can't talk about Jewish roots because they stand on roots. They stand on heritage. You want to stand on culture. Culture rhymes with vulture. These heathens, that means they could come in, take what they want, leave the leave sugar honey iced teas all around, milk you dry become successful businessmen of your demise go home and sing kumbaya but when you black man even mention or talk about their roots you get hit with all titles all sorts of names anti-semitic homophobic um um what was the next one listen the list goes on the list goes on it's so much I'm probably I'm probably on every list that they can be because there's no filter with mine. I'm gonna just tell you what it is. The other day, the other day, I was on I was on social media, and there was this this lady from Mississippi who was just upset because they put in a bill for the Jim Crow law, and and everybody was upset. I was ecstatic. I was like, bravo, that's great. Yes, maybe that's something that we need. That's going to help push the process of getting detoxified. Maybe that's something that we need. Yeah. See, one thing that I realized, especially being out in these streets, one thing that I realized is you can't play this game with emotions, man. 
You can't be emotionally attached to anything. You can't be emotionally attached to anything that the enemy give you. You can't be emotionally attached because when they see that you're emotionally attached, this is how they're able to get you. This is how they're able to catch you slipping. And guess what? Because we've been so emotionally attached to things like the 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 N word. So when they call you a nigger, you get offended. You ready to fight because they're um. Um, putting bill for the Jim Crow laws because they're taking away uh, um was what was what, that joint called um African history African American history from schools and when you when you tie yourself when you attach yourself to these things emotionally they're going to be destroyed you too weak I tell you guys this we too you too weak ain't no time I don't care I don't care. Because me giving any level of feelings behind it isn't going to change or put my people in a, in a situation to be set free. It's not. So I don't care. Once upon a time, that's the mentality we had as men. Oh, y'all talk all that foo-foo. We don't care. Anything that came out of the mouth of the oppressors, we didn't give a damn. That's why they had to beat us. That's why they had to lynch us. That's why they had to murder us. That's why they had to rape us. Because we was not giving in. Don't don't fall for this narrative and make you guys believe that we was just out here just being soft and letting these individuals violate. No. No. There was always a level of pushback. Think about it. That joint is in your soul. It's in your soul from a child. You already got some level of rebelliousness. You're made in his likeness and his image. Come on now. Don't get caught up with these fake ass slavery movies. And that's another thing too. You feel me? They give you these things to psychologically keep you in a state of fear. The only way you're going to be fearless is by detoxifying. Realizing that niggas bleed just like us. Picture me being scared of a man that breathed the same air as me. Now I'm not telling you to go out and and just go against the world like ah, 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 i'm not i know i'm not trying to turn you to no radical you know they're quick to give you these titles these are radical this repent or die podcast is an extreme podcast they he's an extreme he extremely black it's a black extremist you absolutely right I am extremely, I am extremely proud to be black. I am extremely in love with my people. I extremely want change for my people. I extremely are willing to expose and show all the lies and all the wickedness that you have done to us. Why? Yes, I will extremely show that. And I will extremely stand by that. Yes. Yes. If, if that's what's causing me to be having those titles, then I embrace it. I take it with open arms, sir. But what you see about me would never change. I don't I don't want to tie no emotions. I'm like you guys. Call a white person or cracker, see how they feel. They, they're going to smile and say, okay, thank you. Nobody, they don't care. And that's the mentality that we need to have. I mean, what? He called you? He called me a what? All right. Cool. Enjoy it. But I'm not going to let you I'm not going to let you get me out of my realm So you can prove a point So you can have something over me So these heathens could know is All you got to just say is the n-word And he's going to lash out And when he lash out We just call the police And the police is going to knock his ass out Facts Facts Massive worldwide detoxification Again, you guys can't tell me we don't need that. We need that. For the sake of our children, they need that. They need to see love again. They need to see unity again. They need to see black prosperity. They need to see a, a community loving, caring, standing, protecting one another. They need to see that. You know, once upon a time, when these heathen cops used to come into our neighborhood, we used to press them like, yo, what you doing here? How may we help you? It's not like that no more. Because you guys got rid of the blueprint for the blue face. Come on, let's talk that talk, man. It's not like that no more. 
We are all divided. We are all divided by colors, by gangs, by neighborhoods, by schools. When we forgot that our, uh, your mother and my mother once upon a time went to school together was best friends. Even if they wasn't best friends, but they knew each other, a level of respect that when they seen each other, they chopped it up. You should see the madness that's going on in places like Chicago, where these children are killing each other. And these children's parents knew each other, went to school with each other, live in the same projects with each other. And now their 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 first, second, third, fourth born children are beefing with each other. Cousins killing cousins. What are we doing? You telling me we don't need a worldwide detoxification? I can show you on my I'll go on your news break. If you don't got that app, just look it up. Every single day, especially over the weekends, is a massive amount of people that's dying. Three people were stabbed. One stabbed in the chest. One stabbed in the torso. One person died. He got stabbed in his neck. Going into the same hospitals and being in areas that me, myself, pass through every single day. I pass through. So that means these people that was injured or got hurt or got murdered once upon there was once upon a time me and him crossed paths whether i was in a car he was in a car whether i was in a car and he was walking whether i was walking and he was in a car we are crossing path by these individuals and they're dying and they're dying because of individuals that want to have the the mentality of alexander the geek you want to conquer and destroy and plummet and plumage all your people your community be a disaster this is what we want who taught you this behavior no child was born being destructive who taught you this behavior massive detoxification worldwide detoxification Who's ready to get cleansed? Who's ready to get cleansed? Who, who is comfortable and with losing it all to just stand on what's right? I know a lot of you guys are scared. 2021 showed me how scared you guys were. I know that. I know that a, the, the mass majority of black people stand on nothing. The only thing that you stand on and desire and seek is the dollar bill. We just want the money. Even if, even if, even if our health depends on it, we just want the money. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up, man. This is crazy. Massive detoxification. You might have to detoxify yourself from your community. I, I feel like us in the inner cities may need to go into the country. Not just the country, but like in the woods. Learn to, learn to operate and survive with Mother Nature. That's not include, that's not for everybody. It's including myself. Facts. We need to learn how to do what? We need to learn how to live off the grid live without a cell phone live without live without trying to be entertained instead of trying to be entertained you create your own level of entertainment facts but it's going to be hard for you to do because you don't want to detox and people is gonna say, man, we don't need no, we ain't got no time for that. Why we gotta detox? We making money. We life is good. Life is good for who? You that selfish? It's only about you, huh, Tupac? It's all about you, huh? It's all about you. So what about your auntie? What about your grandmother? What about what about your lost your, your third fourth cousin that's from your favorite grandmother's side? What about them? That don't matter. It's only about you. You see, you see the mentality? You see why we need detoxification? 
You think you're the only one that you think you're the only one that suffered and you made a way out? Lucky you. Lucky you. You got a plan that you ran to. I got to still take care of the woman. Still gotta do what I gotta do. I still if it if you were sticking to the blueprint, you would have took that blue face and put it all into the community and made sure everybody got up. But that's another topic in itself. The worldwide detoxification of the black man. We need that. Immediately. Immediately. For the sake of our future. For these children Black people don't want to do nothing Besides rap, sell drugs, do drugs And play basketball And video games Nobody want to be a doctor no more Nobody want to be a lawyer Nobody want to be a carpenter Nobody want to do HVAC Nobody want to fix ACs Jobs where you can make a good decent amount of money a good living to take care of your family we don't want that nah nah we want that fast buck even if even if it's you know going 5,000 miles per hour and if we was to hit a wall we gonna instantly die doesn't matter I'd rather do that than go through the emotions of the struggle or have enough to take care of everybody so nobody can struggle. Massive detoxification. Excuse me. Worldwide detoxification, y'all. Sound, sound, sounds bad. It, it's, it's, it's harsh when I say these things, but hey. If I don't say, who's going to say? If I don't talk about it, who's going to talk about it? Huh? I know what we need. The scriptures tell us what we need. And what we need is a level of separation, cleansing from the food, detoxification from the television, the TV shows, the, the, the um, social media The cell phones detoxify, You know um, Detoxifying ourselves From even the scriptures Yes Pray to the father Say you'll give him your bus a prayer But reading this book Some of you guys need a detoxification Because this book As, as, pow- as powerful as this book is Full of wisdom this joint is so powerful that it could also cause you to partake in, um, in sorcery without even knowing. Put you in a high level of hypnosis if you don't know. This is why King James got the best writers, y'all. He got the best writers, y'all. That people that's the great at what they do are able to put things right before you without your knowing. Are able to put and and summon spells and demons that when you say it and you enchant it, spirits get inside of you. This is what happens when you get the best writers. But y'all not listening. Come on now. Worldwide detoxification. Listen, I'm going to tell you how much you know we need a worldwide detoxification. Even our big bro, our savior, your savior. He's my big brother, but he's your savior. Those that want to be heroes and, and, and heathenites. He's your savior. When you, when, you come from, when you come from the land that he come from and understand what he's spoken, he's going to talk to you like a brother. That's my big bro. Even he had to detox. How long did he fast for? 40 days? 40 nights? Then touch nothing? 
he knew this is what was needed in order for him to get to the next level in order for him to get to the top this is the same thing that has to happen for us but it can't just be 40 days we might literally need 40 years we're just that damaged that we need that much of a that long of a period of detoxification in order for us just to take three steps that's how damaged we are as the people facts but you don't hear me though you don't even see what took place when you read these scripts this is why it's very important that we need to detoxify we need to detoxify and 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 you know people's gonna say but hold on you saying repent and die why are you saying um you gotta detoxify from the book even our big bro was detoxifying from the book he was fasting he was just praying he was just giving himself to the father he wasn't sitting here reading proverbs hold on let me see what proverbs said let me, let, let me let's go back to genesis he wasn't doing that see a lot of you guys put your hard earned time into this and you not even put in the same effort into your people into your nation you know why because be, due to the lack of detoxification even though you're reading this and you're and you're screaming out whatever european gods you're calling on because you're reading this you still are in uh, uh mentality or got the viewpoint of the oppressor facts but oh man i digress man i i, I just had to I had to bring that out um yeah definitely a massive detoxification and i might just do a part two i don't know but right now yeah detox please for the people get your mind right get your soul right get your get your your situations all in check check yourself before you wreck yourself because there's even people out here that's have no problem in decking you bro facts but it's your brother man from motherland i came to you guys you know what i represent you know who i am i am mr keep my foot on you he he grows and the newly installed he the nice next are you dumb or are you dumb let the father say one time for the one time I'm a holla at y'all.